that's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? All right, guys, so behind me is one of the builds that us at LB Motorsports got to be a part of. I'm like lisping because I just put in a new piece of gum, but it's fine. So this is, hey, what's up? This is, this is Tiffany Burnett. Oh my God. I always love when I run into people like on camera. What's up? What's up, girlfriend? You're always so cute. So this over here, we have Tiffany killing the game. She always is. All right, guys, we're going to try this one more time. So this is one of the builds that we were a part of with LB Motorsports. This is from a shop that's super close to our shop, like an hour away. Rob, the owner, is one of my really good friends, so it's built by RHR Custom Automotive. They had three SEMA builds this year and killed it on every one of them. So anyways, we were a small part of this. Well, yeah, it's not really a small part. Everything you see that's red on this was powder coated by me or painted by Keith Walk Restoration, and he works at um, RHR also, but he's local as well, so. We only stayed up. We only stayed up for like 48 hours yeah. straight. To get Before it done. I had to go back to Utah to get this stuff done. So, anyways, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, this was my first like lift kit that I've ever powder coated. So, I think it turned out pretty good. And this is huge. See, this thing's huge. Look, the mirror. I can't even touch the mirror. It's crazy. This is my style. Sure, I freaking love it. Uh, 50 on the fly, sticky, come get high with me. That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Hey, coming down like precipitation. I ain't never met a limitation. Okay, guys, outfit on point. We're just seam a crunching up in here. So like I said guys, you know that my truck did not make it here, but it really feels almost even nicer to have worked on several vehicles that are here and have our work on display. And the whole team killed every one of these builds with Sparks Motors, RHR Automotive. All right guys, so you've seen us pour hours, weeks, days straight of blood, sweat, and tears into this truck. It's Sparks Motors. And here it is. It's so great to just see it in person. It's a little dusty now. It looks like people have been touching it and stuff. But it's so nice to just see it sitting here and it's done. And here it is. So this is, once again, one of four that we had our little hands on. So cool. is SEMA Crunch here at Spark Motors. What we are working on right now, one of the products we're working on. So you guys will see this um, six by six on tracks build on uh, next season. And it also has to be seemingly affordable for customers that buy the six by sixes because what um, we are creating is actually a bolt on track option so that you don't have a useless truck when you're not using the tracks. You can just bolt the regular wheels and tires back on and you have a multi functional vehicle. We've been doing some mock-up. We've got everything unbolted, ready for this bed to come off because we are gonna do a flat bed to accommodate for the track. Doing some mock-up over here. Super hard to hang up. Almost probably don't drop them on my toe with the week, uh, the weeks plural that I've been having. Pretty ganky good. The last of the small time pieces. We've got the whole front assembly ready to be put 
well, they are in the oven, but ready to be baked. So we got some of the back chat pieces back from fabrication. These guys freaking killed it to start powder coating. I freaking powder coated till 4 a.m. this morning and then was back here at 8. So that was a fun time. Had a little nap ski. It is evening time now and definitely gonna have to pull an all-nighter to get this stuff done for reassembly tomorrow. The six by six, which is what I'm doing all this for, um, leaves Friday. That's in like a day and a half. So yeah, start on all these pieces. These are heavy as crap. Seema Crunch 2019. crazy and look crazy this heat is like so not working it's so cold anyways officially been working for 22 hours pretty much straight i sat down a couple times and uh i'm gonna go home and brush my teeth and come right back so it's just i'm gonna do it until it gets done truck's gotta go when it's gonna go and i don't want everyone stressed out to the last minute so this is what we're doing family um the rest of the shop crew, she has like 6 at 30 right now, should be here today, like in an hour and a half, which is good because then people can help me, um, well, help me, period, but help me lift things and whatnot. our custom automotive hometown rep in over here once again our small part in this one was we did an armadillo liner bed line to match all of the red accents turned out really cool so this is rob's personal truck that we had the pleasure of being a little part of so we're going to show you guys that liner right that's a bet right that's a bet right that's a deal right that's a deal right that's a bet right that's a deal right that's a deal right that's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Hey, so we've got Rob from RHR here dropping off their SEMA build, one of their SEMA builds for 2019. F-150. So what most people don't know is that we don't just do plain black boring bed liners, but we can do any color you want and match any paint code. So what we're gonna do with this truck today is actually the um, Ford factory race red. It matches like the interior. There's parts everywhere because SEMA crunch guys. 
but so you know it's basically gonna match that red but there's gonna be a red wrap on it some red on the wheels You look like you're in a rap video right now. How do you feel? <laughs> I feel pretty good. Uh, I did it with a, it's a, a rotary tool. It's called a Fordham. It's like a drone. And so it's uh, just spins and then just came through and, you know. It's so sick. What do you think? Sick. Sick feel. Our work all came together. What do you think, Morgies? It's so crazy to see the shop fam outside of the shop. Right? In normal clothes. In, in normal clothes. And vans. Wait, I always wear vans. So much cleaner, like, I am so much cleaner. Your face, you know? <laughs> this has been our project for the night. Two punch things. Weighing it down real nice. See my crunch time. Unboxing the seats. Keep your seats for the wet sound blazer. The stitching. Can't really see it in the video. Matches the champagne powder coat. Can you see him come? Powder coat of this. Today. Cute. And then did my first Cerakote job. So it's going in the blazer build over there. Pan over. Yeah. So got some more pieces in for powder coat today. And we did this um, cage deal thingy -o, um prepped for the K5. It's going to see that the guys back up. Got some U-bolts and things. Getting ready to be primed. These are panels for K5 Blazer for Wet Sound for the SEMA, I think. I don't know what this is. I thought I did for a minute. I guess they're just on the inside, bottom panels or something. Today we are powder coating some of the SEMA stuff for the Wet Sounds build. We're going to show you a little bit of the process. Let's go! Hey. That's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five sticky, come get high with me. That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Hey, coming down like precipitation. I ain't never met a limitation. Hate applying my elimination. Gotta go to Google for the information. I'm a superstar, so I gotta shine. 
top dollar be the bottom line. Bottom feeding niggas out of line.